Hey guys, this is Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. So I've been trying to film this video forever at this point, or maybe the last week and a half, two weeks. And it's about all the palettes that I purchased in 2019. Whew, it, it's a lot. It's a lot, okay? And so I'm going to go through all the palettes I purchased in 2019, and I'm going to let you know what I purchased them again or what I not purchased them again. So it's not going to really be a review video. I'm not ranking them. These are not my favorites. I already did a favorites video, and I'll try just try to remember to link that right there. But this is basically what I purchased the palette now. So, you know, sometimes you purchase a palette, you're very excited to get the palette, and then once you get it, maybe it's just not what you expected it to be. The formula is not up to par. So, would I purchase it again? And some of the palettes that I'm not going to purchase again or would not purchase again, I just felt like I shouldn't have probably bought. It's not because they're a bad palette, or maybe there's just one or two shades that I really do love in a palette, but in the total grand scheme of things, it's like, oh, was it really worth it for that one shade? Or I, once I got it, it was just like, mm, it's okay. But so basically, I have made a list and I have it right here in this little notebook. And we're gonna go through the palettes. I kind of organized them according to brand just to make the video a little bit better and not all over the place. But from my count, I have 52 palettes that I've tried this year. So that really means like I have tried one palette per week of 2019 because it's 52 weeks in a year. My God. And <laughs> I, I mean, I, I just don't know <laughs> what happened. I mean, quarter three and four of this year was intense in terms of eye style palettes. I think we all know that. And some I purchased this year, even though they did not come out this year. Not to mention, um, there were a few more palettes, but their names are not in the list because I returned them to the store. So there actually could have been more in this video. So let's go ahead, let's jump in, and I'm gonna go ahead and kick it off with probably numero uno in terms of the corporate of why I have so many palettes and we're going to talk about ColourPop Cosmetics. Woo. So it is no secret ColourPop Cosmetics they have come out with so many palettes every week, every week, every week, every sometimes every two days there's a release. So um, right here these are the monochromatic palettes that I have purchased and let's just gonna go through them real quickly so the first up is my pleasure or it's my pleasure and this is the all purple one I would absolutely purchase this palette again this palette is beautiful the color scheme is divine the mattes are beautiful the shimmers are beautiful you get so many fun wearable looks and this is a great palette for $12 and you get some awesome looks and the quality is amazing. I mean, nobody really saw this coming when they first did this palette, like, oh, we're going to go down a whole monochromatic scheme. But this palette is one of the standout palettes that I have tried this year, hands down. So I would absolutely purchase this palette again. Just My Luck palette came out around March of 2019 and it is the green theme palette. And I would purchase this palette again. I think it's very unique to my collection. I really like the yellow gold uh, Mary Jane. I love the Olive You because it also gives you just a more wearable, approachable green shade. And the matte shades are beautiful. Plus, we have a few minty shades that you don't always see in the um, green scheme palettes or green theme palettes. And they do complement my complexion well. So overall, the quality is really nice. This one you have, we have like four shimmers versus the It's My Pleasure palette. You have a few more shimmers, but I really do like the tones of this green palette and I would definitely purchase this again. The Blue Moon palette, I would definitely purchase again. I love blue shades and this was so beautiful. And uh, Tide Pool is great, it's vibrant. You have some cooler tone blues, you have some dark navy blues, you have some mid-tone blues, and you have your bright pop of blues. And then you have this beautiful duochrome shade Lumi that just helps you do that inner corner or you can just throw it over the lid and couple it with some other shades right here. 
overall i think this palette is fabulous and i really do think that they did a great job on this palette and it gives a lot of options because you have the lighter blues that you can go and transition and then this little periwinkle shift blue it's really pretty as well so overall i think they did a great job with this palette this is the makeup shayla proceed with caution so this is not a monochromatic palette but it is like a nine pan palette and i do really like this palette oh wait wait what are my shades is about to pop out oh come on wait wait whoa okay so this palette is actually oh, are two of my shades about to pop out? come on wait a minute so i actually really like this palette but Based off of all the things that I've purchased this year, I probably would not purchase this palette again. I've only used this palette a couple times since I've bought the palette, and it's not that stand out. And I don't know why the shades are like acting like they want to pop out. Probably because it's mad at me because I said I don't want to purchase it again. I'm sorry, okay? And it's no diss to Shayla or anything like that. I think the color scheme is gorgeous, but against all my other palettes, it is not something that makes me reach for it anymore because I kind of have these shades kind of sprinkled out all over my collection, if you know what I mean. But overall, I do think this is a really great palette. The ColourPop formula is amazing. And you do have some really nice colors in here. But overall, I just wouldn't probably purchase it again. I would just think twice. The Aha uh -huh Honey palette. I'm kind of torn. This is kind of like in the probably not field. And only because there's only really two shades that but actually attract my attention. And that would be Queen Bee and Buzzkill and maybe Gandy. The rest of the mattes are pretty, uh, they're, they're light. They're not really showing up. Buzzkill shows up a little bit more and totally bugging. But I will say that this particular palette kept me from purchasing the Naked Honey palette by Urban Decay because I was like, I have a few shades here and I feel like these she shades, excuse me, complimented basically what was in the Naked Honey. And I was like, I didn't need to spend my money on that when I was satisfied with this. So this is kind of like, eh, probably not. Oak Show, I would absolutely purchase again because this was a palette that I was asking ColourPop to make. I was one of the part of the crew who was like, yes, please make this palette. I just want to see some grays, some blacks, and they delivered. And this palette is bomb. If you are going out, you want a bomb smoky eye, you can put this on and have no fear. It's going to work out great. You don't have to put in another transition shade, but I did when the last time I used it for New Year's Eve, I did put a little brown shade in the crease, then went in with the gray and black mattes and did a sparkly lid and it was perfect. This palette is so effortless to work with and if you're scared with blacks this is not a pr bad price point in order to just kind of play around with different textures and maybe uh colors or mattes that you wouldn't typically play around with because blacks and grays could be very intimidating but overall i'm really digging this palette and i love it so much i'm glad they finally listened and made it i definitely will purchase the main squeeze palette by ColourPop. i love this palette you guys know i love red shades and this palette is so bomb this actually made it into my favorites of 2019 the shimmers down the middle are beautiful they all provide something different they don't really look different but they all have a little own dual comb action and even though there's a gold right here it does take on a red shift which is beautiful maraschino is more pinky and then you have a more cranberry mauve tone you have beautiful mattes in here so you can kind of do more of a toned down look especially if you're my complexion or a little bit deeper it just kind of looks a little bit more natural on somebody versus somebody who's a little bit more fair skin so I, you definitely have great options in here and when i use this palette i don't even pull in another palette i would absolutely purchase this again aren't you glad on the other hand i would not purchase again unfortunately and i was really excited when this palette came out but uh okay the price glitter killed it for me and i was really kind of excited about you peel me and most of mommy but overall i felt like this is like any palette that i have oranges and a couple of brown oranges i could have just kind of created the look i created with this palette with any of my palettes in my collection so with that being said i probably would not purchase this palette again and this is my least favorite out of the monochromatic palettes that i did purchase this is the huda beauty nude rich and it retailed i want to say for 29 dollars. i'll try to link the price up there if i have the price incorrect 
However, I would absolutely purchase this again. This was a standout palette. She came out with three of them in a set and I would definitely purchase this again. It is such a beautiful coppery red tone palette. Easy to put on your eyes. Just go and you're going to get a great fantastic look that you can wear every day or just amp it up for special occasions. Just kind of going out and hang out with your friends or just popping your bag and take traveling with you. I would absolutely purchase this again. Now I did purchase a few other of her mini palettes like I purchased um like the neon ones of this and they were terrible but this I would definitely purchase again I was so glad I purchased this during the Sephora uh VIB sale and I love the packaging and it's so stinking cute now this is my first time trying the brand Linda Hallberg or Linda Hallberry I think that's how they Hallberry I want to say that's how you say it in Swedish now she is a makeup artist and this is the spectral palette and I would not purchase this again and I'm going to be very careful holding this up I actually filmed a video with this but never got a chance to show it to you guys a couple of my shades popped out but I would say that the customer service was great they actually refunded me half of my palette or 75% of the cost of the palette because the shades popped out so they did have some issues with packing them and I just kind of repressed this again and then when I was filming the video one of the other shades popped out but I wouldn't purchase this again this palette retailed for $49 and I do think it was a beautiful pa palette but I would just not purchase it again on the other hand I would purchase again the infinity deep palette by Linda Hallberg this is an all in one palette basically you can use the eyeshadows face anything you would please eyebrows and I would definitely purchase this palette again this palette is gorgeous it retails for $45 and I love the color solar it is so beautiful as a cheap product and you have a lot of things for deep people you have like a setting powder you also light here is not really a set I wouldn't really use it as a setting powder but I think some people say there you have a couple highlighted options this is a palette that definitely you can use it on my complexion all the way up to the richest of rich complexions I've used this on my friends when I've done their makeup and it's been beautiful so this is definitely a palette I would purchase again I'm really loving this palette this is a palette I almost did not pick up this is the Ace Beauté Oceanic palette and I absolutely love this palette it is a gorgeous murky ocean tone color scheme and definitely lives up to the theme of what it says and this palette retails for $38.99 the mattes in here are spectacular the shimmers in here are beautiful and you're going to get great pigmentation this is actually one of my favorite palettes of 2019 I would absolutely purchase this again this is a new brand to me and I'm so glad I did try them out this is Kaleidos Cosmetics I did do videos on two of the palettes which is the futuristic pink and sci-fi green and then I also have the future is a neon here so these palettes actually retail for $24 a piece but they do have a bundle on their website where you can get all three for $59 which is a bomb deal because you're basically getting one palette almost free and then this is the astro pink version right here these palettes the shadows are impeccable and I'm so mad they had a palette that has been discontinued earlier this year I'm so glad I didn't pick it up I was trying to be good but I wish I would have got that palette because it is so pretty. It was like an ocean theme palette. But I'm so mad. The quality of Kaleido shadows are really, really good. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what they're coming out with this year. And this is the sci-fi green if I can get it open. These two little babies, I haven't even tried out yet. And that is such a shame. This is from On Unique Beauty. They are a London-based brand. And I have two palettes. One, this is called... B bash and the other one is called status quo and I definitely I think I should use them on my channel this year and these palettes are relatively inexpensive so because I haven't even tried them I've just stuck my grubby little fingers in them to swatch them I would kind of put it just maybe in the maybe category don't shoot me but I haven't even seen if they're good or not but they're relatively inexpensive they were only 10 pounds and right now when I looked up the price uh, the yesterday they were like $6.99 on sale so I would more than likely purchase these again but I definitely have to use them but what I can say is that the shimmers felt super super creamy and they do have two press glitters in there so ugh, there's that next up I have the Viseart Petite uh, Pro Palette and this is the Soleil Palette I was super excited when this came out it retails for $30 and this is actually my first Viseart Palette 
But at the end of the day, I probably would not have purchased this palette again. I've only used it a couple times and it's not something I've really grabbed since I've purchased this palette. But overall, it's, it does have okay performance, but I am looking forward to trying more of Viziart's, Viziart's matte palettes versus just these little petite ones. I heard that they sometimes can be a little hit or miss. The pigmentation wasn't bad, but it was just okay. So I probably would not, I would not purchase this again. Let's continue on with my Major Offender ColourPop. So I have their bigger palettes here. First up, we have the Sweet Tongue palette. This palette is gorgeous and it retails for $18. And I haven't really used it a lot, but I would repurchase this palette. It is gorgeous. You do have two pressed glitters in here. This kind of started the trend of ColourPop putting pressed glitters in their palettes. But these particular pressed glitters, I do not mind because they are actually very fine milled and they look nice on the eyes, unlike some of the glitters like in the Orange You Glad palette where they're very thick and chunky and they're actually body glitters and I'm not sure why they're in the eyeshadow palette. And then you also have a Super Shock shadow in here and overall this is an easy breezy very glam palette so I definitely would repurchase this palette. I purchased this palette on OM. This is the Butter Me Up and this is towards the end of the year when I purchased this. I picked it up from Ulta. It was $18 and they came out with three palettes and this is the one that interests me the most and let me tell you it is gorgeous this color scheme is so so pretty if you're into purples and mauves and reds and berry tones like i am this palette is amazing you do have one finely pressed glitter in here you do have island hoppin which is a stupid body glitter but you have some very beautiful matte shades you have some very beautiful shimmer shades and you could create a wide variety of looks now you do have to be cautious because quite a few of the palette uh, quite a few of the shades in here are not really intended for eye use because the pigments are so strong, but I would absolutely repurchase this palette. This is the Whatever palette, and I would absolutely repurchase this palette. I want to say this palette retails for $16, and this was part of their fall release. You have beautiful berry tone burgundy shades in this palette. Very wearable, very stand out on my complexion. I do love this palette. You have a super shock shadow. You do have one pressed glitter, but you have some beautiful shimmer shades in here and can get a wide variety of looks. I would absolutely repurchase this palette. And then we have California Love. I definitely will repurchase this palette. It is a very brown tone palette and I don't have a lot of brown tone palettes in my collection. They're mostly uh, kind of like this when we're talking about neutral palettes. So you definitely have some um, standout shimmers in this palette. You have a lot of variety of mattes. You definitely have a breast glitter in this palette, but overall this palette retail for, I want to say $16 and I would definitely repurchase this palette again. Next up, we have the first big boy from ColourPop, which was the So Jaded palette. And um, this palette, it, I kind of would just I would repurchase it again. I, I'm not going to front, but maybe I would just put it in the probably category. You definitely have a couple of pressed glitters. You have a super shot shadow, but you definitely have some beautiful jewel tones. This side of the palette, this, these three rolls down are the best uh, for me, and that's what really interests me on in this palette. So you have these beautiful shades right here. They're very murky. They're very jewel tone, and then you have some mattes, and then you have some fun pops of colors. But overall, I really do like this palette, so I, I'm going to stop for now. I would repurchase this palette. <laughs> Next up, I have two palettes that I would definitely fight you over, so I would repurchase them. This is the Color to Rain Safari Ray and the Color to Rain Times Power TV. And I would definitely repurchase both of these palettes. This one retail for $39, and this one retail for $29. So this is the Safari Rain. It is actually limited edition. I think they need to bring it back and make it permanent. A lot of people love this palette. It is beautiful. Color Rain's formula is so beautiful. It is on par. The mattes are beautiful, blend out like a dream, very pigmented, and the shimmers are very rich, brilliant, high shine foil. They're amazing quality shadows, and I would definitely repurchase this palette. And it was actually in my favorites of 2019. Power Times uh, Color Rain Collection. I didn't even see this coming, but it was so dope, and it just definitely gave this palette a theme. This is a beautiful burgundy purple tone palette. It is deep. It's You're going to get some very beautiful dark looks or maybe one or two softer looks but I love this palette I would definitely purchase this and I think you should pick this up before it goes out of stock because it is limited edition formula is great color rain formula that we expect and know and love and I do think it's on sale now at the moment so I would definitely repurchase this palette oh my goodness so Miss Anastasia Beverly Hills she was on a roll this year so I have a few from her and 
one of the palettes actually went back and I'll tell you which one in a second. But first up, I have the Riviera palette by Anastasia and I do really like this palette right here. And the shimmers are really pretty and they're kind of approachable. So when you want a little pop of color on your eyes, but you don't want to be too bright, I do kind of reach into this palette. So this palette is kind of like in the probably category, maybe not category, but overall I do kind of like it. I don't know. I'm just kind of on the fence about it. So bear with me guys. But this palette actually retailed, I want to say for 40 five dollars is the new pricing for Anastasia palettes but at the time of the year when it came out it was like oh my gosh Anastasia is coming out with color I can't believe it this palette I would definitely repurchase and I'm so glad I picked it up this is the Jackie Ina palette uh, with Anastasia Beverly Hills look at the packaging so dope and these shadows are amazing and it works so well on if a complexion of deeper tones, uh, my complexion on deeper, even if you're fair skin, you're going to get some beautiful looks. You got jewel tones, you got golds, you have pops of color, you have mattes that are color like purple and the burgundy and the pink and these browns. I mean, it's a beautiful palette. The only color I do not really care for is the color Trust Issues. That is a dual chrome shade. And dollars sometimes is a little it, but I would definitely repurchase this palette. I think it is beautiful. This palette right here is the ABH Norvina Collection. I want to say this is the Volume 3 palette. And I actually returned the blue one because after using this one, I was just kind of so upset. But... I don't know if I were repurchase this palette. I probably would not repurchase this palette, but I did keep this one because I have over at the end of the day, I made a beautiful look, but it took a lot for me to make the beautiful look for it. And after that, I was not interested in playing with the blue one. But overall, I think the colors are beautiful. But no, just knowing what I know now, I would not repurchase it, but I did not want to return this one. I just wanted to give it a little bit more love. This one right here is actually a repurchase because this is what happens sometimes when you declutter things and then it's like, dang, I kind of missed that. And so this is actually the ABH subculture palette and I repurchased it this year during Black Friday. So originally retail for $42. I did get it on sale and I heard it is floating around at TJ Maxx and other retailers of such. But I think they said supposedly this is supposed to be the reformulated uh, version of it. So we shall see. I will do a video on this sometime soon. But this is the gorgeous color scheme. I think this color scheme was just so innovative of its time. And I think a lot of palettes are still just trying to dupe this color scheme that Anastasia came out with. And I would definitely repurchase this palette knowing what I know now. This is a brand that's actually new to me, but I would definitely repurchase it. And this is actually the palettes that I'm wearing on my eyes now. And it's this beautiful baby. These are the Melt Cosmetics. Uh, uh, Eternal Amour collection, I want to say. This is the Morte palette and this is the Vita one. So I mostly have the Morte uh, palette on my eyes and it is basically these green colors with uh, two of these blue shades and that is the inner corner. And this is beautiful. This quality is so nice. They retail each for $54 and I would definitely repurchase this. I thought I only wanted this one at first, but then once I saw the whole collection, I was like, there's no way I can just skip and just get one. And this is the other half that I have this kind of like to help blend out some of the shades. These shadows are so nice. So I would definitely repurchase these palettes and the collection is bomb i mean talk about a theme and this is in my favorites of 2019 as well i am so sad to say that this is a palette i would not repurchase but i think the color scheme is beautiful and this is from uma beauty this is the black magic palette and then this is the allure one the only reason i kept this particular one because they did come out with three and i purchased two is because something about this color scheme will not let me let it go the color scheme is gorgeous but the formula is like <laughs> so I mean it's not the worst I've dealt with because I tried well I tried something this year and I was like it's got to go I can't even remember the brand it was terrible but I mean you have all these glitters this glitter is really really pretty the, these mattes are pretty thin it's just okay but it's such a shame because I mean they really have good lipsticks this is a new brand to the market and I mean look at the theme and the color scheme of the palette so like something in me just would not let me let go of this palette because it is just such a treat to look at but I would not repurchase it and it retails for $44 which is quite expensive especially for a new brand that came onto the market it's kind of like a mid-level brand 
but I did return the other two palettes and the color schemes were just really, really pretty on those two, but I just couldn't keep it. This is the Milani Gilded Rouge palette and I would not re-keep this palette. And I, you know, I like affordable makeup because I love ColourPop, but this was just okay. The mattes were just all right. The shimmers were just okay. And then you have pressed glitters. I feel like I need to give it some more love, but I, would not probably repurchase this palette and it's a shame it actually is really pretty when i'm looking at this little roll right here but uh the times i used it i was just really underwhelmed by it and something was kind of up with this particular formula so i probably would not purchase this palette again this is the sonia zareen palette by blush tribe and it's actually nothing wrong with this palette i cannot find out how much this palette retail for i want to say it was around maybe 20 30 five pounds i want to say blush tribe is a london based brand but i have not really used it a lot so it's really kind of like in the maybe category so if i had to really probably be honest with myself i would probably say no because i have not really used it since uh, i first got the palette um but other than that the quality isn't bad at all it is actually a really nice palette and i'm gonna start trying to use this some more but other than that i probably would not have purchased this again this is the mojito palette so this one i just kind of have to say yes at this particular time because i have not tested it out this is something I purchased around Black Friday I have not had a chance to test it out and I did show it to you in my Black Friday haul and I do plan on filming a video with this this is from the beauty crop and this color scheme just really intrigued me it is really really pretty this is the mojito palette and this palette retail for what to say $24 so at this particular point in time I'm just gonna kind of say yes I will repurchase this because I don't know any different at the moment this is the makeup geek peach Bellini palette and I would absolutely repurchase this palette I want to say this palette was about maybe 18 to 20 dollars it is actually discontinued on the makeup geek website they are actually in the process of rebranding but I would definitely repurchase this palette I have enjoyed it so much I decluttered my sweet peach palette from Too Faced and this is just um, filled in the void for me I was not digging that palette anymore I just really love how this palette was a more curated uh, version of the sweet peach palette and these tones are really peach and these all these tones actually pop very well on my skin complexion and I love this palette it's very easy to work with so I would definitely repurchase this palette if it was still available this is a palette I would repurchase again this is the Natasha Denona cranberry palette and I actually got this on sale this year this palette came out in the Christmas of 2018 I was able to get this on sale for I want to say $25 it does originally retail for $48 and I did not want to pay $48 for it at the time when it came out but the color scheme is beautiful and it was like something that was always on my wish list so I do like it and it has that cream to powder uh, formula that she's kind of become known for with her mattes and I would definitely repurchase this palette again and I'm like happy that I got it on sale <laughs> The Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette, I would definitely repurchase this again. This was actually in my 2019 favorites. The palette retails for $65. Normally the palettes of this particular size with these shadows retail for $125. But she has um, come to her senses and basically dropped the amount of product that you get. So the palette would be it's as expensive. And I appreciate that because if you're an avid makeup collector or even if you're not, even if you use makeup on a daily basis, we're just not going through all that particular product that fast. This palette is gorgeous and even the two lighter tones of this side actually just impress me. But I really love this palette and it was one of my favorites of 2019. I think I already said that, but you get the drift palette I would absolutely repurchase again and this one I almost did not purchase I was like no I don't need it and I actually still do think it looks like if you take this half of the palette this half on you have Safari Rain I'm gonna just hold up Safari Rain so you can see Safari Rain but if you hold up these two sides together I feel like you have Safari Rain I was definitely trying to talk myself out of purchasing this palette but this palette went on sale because of the vib sale i have my ebay's money so i actually was able to score this palette at like 60 dollars versus the 120 dollars so i was like yes i'm going to pick it up now i would absolutely repurchase it and it was like a great deal that i got it on <laughs> i would absolutely repurchase this palette and it just made it even better that i got it for a half off so this palette it has a great formula lots of nice shimmers uh only thing i don't like about the palette is the deepest brown is really not dark enough 
and your precious are super dirty after using this palette because of the cream <laughs> to powder formulation. A medium sized offender for why I have so many palettes is Chubbiest place this year. And you know, it wouldn't have been so bad, but then right when I thought I was done buying makeup on Christmas Eve, she came out with these little bad boys. So I opted to just get two out of the four mini collections that she offered. And this is the berries, and they both retail for $13.99. And I would repurchase these. This one is my favorite. It is so stick and pretty. I'm definitely in love with these two shimmers and these two mattes. Are pretty and so is this one this one's so bold i love this palette it's a great accent palette and then we have the violets i would definitely repurchase this particular palette it is so pretty the coolness of it even though i have those other purple palettes it just offers something a little bit different the nubian three coral i would definitely repurchase this one was i want to say $15? That sounds about right for Juvia's Place. And I just really dig the tones of this particular palette. I'm loving the top row and I'm loving this row right here, especially And these mattes are so much more creamier than they have been past. And so are these particular shimmer shadows. I love just throwing this particular shadow all over the eyes. Y'all know I love a tone that looks like this. And I would definitely repurchase this palette again. This is the Queen palette with Fumi de Salo Vold and Juvia. This is their first collab. I would definitely repurchase this palette again. I want to say this retail for $18 because it was a collab and it was their first six pan palette. Although these pans are a little bit bigger than this one right here. Um, you have the purples and the pinks and like some easy transition shades. This is actually dubbed as a face palette as well because you have these two shades that can be used as highlighters depending on your complexion and then you also have the couple of shades that can be used as blushes. So I would definitely repurchase this palette again and these mattes in here were the first mattes that I was like oh okay these are actually really really bold. This palette is the Nomad palette and I want to say it retail for about $16. I would definitely repurchase this one again. The pan size was a little bit smaller and more approachable in this palette and I'm really digging the color scheme and it got something, it brought something really different and unique to my um, collection because a lot of my collection, a lot of my collection is very warm tone and this offers something a little bit more grungy and a little bit cooler in nature as well and these sh two shimmers right here are gorgeous i would definitely repurchase this palette next up we have these little babies by fenty these are the fenty snap shadows i picked up two which is three and seven and you can snap them together or unsnap them like this so three is a deep neutrals um it's a deep neutrals color scheme. Now this one I would probably not pick up again. And both of these palettes actually no. Um, I'm still on the fence. Like if they're going to go back, I'm still in that window. Uh, they retail for $25 a piece. But if you bought them as a set, you got two for $45. So you save $5. This color scheme is actually really beautiful. But uh, pigment is like the pigment is so much better in this particular one. This is seven. So unfortunately, I probably would not buy these again. Otherwise, niftiness and packaging wise, like bomb. Like you just throw this in your bag. Like, she just needs to fix the pigmentation. This is the Give Me Glow Christmas Morning Palette. Now I'm so on the fence about this because I really, really wanted this palette. And I got it actually in the secret restock because they restocked it, I want to say the second week in November, and second week in December, excuse me, and it sold out so quickly. And it, the palette was actually on the wrong spot on the website, so you kind of had to search the website to even find the palette, and the palette sold out in like five minutes. Now, I was happened to be on an Instagram page and they had a two shadow set where, or duo rather, where it wasn't even colors that was offered in this palette. And then it was like something about those particular duos. And then it was like Christmas morning, well, restock 12 o'clock this Friday. And I was like, look at the, the date. I was like, oh, they really talking about this Friday. And it was true. So I know they just got a pressing machine. So I don't know what's up with this bad boy, but I just know like this is my first time really trying Give Me Glow. I have like three single shadows that I have not used before, but this is a beautiful palette and the mattes are really good. But as you can see, like my gold just kind of flaked across the palette. I don't know, like they swatch so well, but the gold, I couldn't even pick up on a brush. I couldn't, definitely not on a natural hair brush, definitely not even on a synthetic brush and not even like um, a, like a matte tutu, 
with like a concealer type brush. I have a refer one, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer one. Eat. Um, my Sephora Pro Glitter Liner, it picked up, but it just did not translate in the eyes. So I kind of feel like I might have a dud. So I'm going to contact them and see what can be done. Because I'm just like, this is not the quality that everybody's been raving about. It just can't be. Like, it can't be. Like, this one won't even pick up on the, on the brush at all. And I'm like, what am I doing wrong? And when I look at everybody else's videos on this palette, like, it's just like, literally, they're using whatever type of brush. And it's just like, boom, on their eyes. And I'm like, that did not happen for me at all. So, but like I said, I'm on the fence. I'm going to see. I might have a dud. So it's in the strong maybe. It's in the maybe category. I don't I don't know. I don't know. This is the Hip Dot Zion palette and this is $30. So at this point, I would probably say no. It's not a bad palette. It's just that it's nothing special about the color scheme. It's not bad formula at all. I gave this a good review. I just haven't used it too much since. I've used it a couple times. Retail for $30. So other than that, I probably would not pick it up anymore. Like I said, it's nothing wrong with the quality of this palette. This is a good palette, but just because I haven't been reaching for it, I probably do not buy it again. If you guys have made it this far, kudos to you. We have one last brand to talk about, and she is my other big offender. And if you guys know me, you already probably know who it is, because this lady has been pumping out palettes all year long. And I literally counted in the last quarter, basically from when she released Mothership 6 on through December, she released 10 palettes, bigger palettes. Not to mention, we had this little bad boy and a couple of other XTC kits, iXTC smaller palettes. So let's go ahead and jump into the first iXTC kit. I am talking about none other than Mother Pat, Auntie Pat, call her whatever you want to call, Miss Patricia, okay? So Miss Pat McGrath, hunty, she has been killing it all year long. So first up, she gave us this little mini palette right here, and this is super cute. This was actually in a kit, and it came with an eye it came with a, no, it came with a mini mascara. It came with this six pan eyeshadow palette. It also came with a little pigment. And I would definitely repurchase this again. And this was six new shades. Now the packaging was just okay, but I think I would prefer this packaging versus the packaging that she's done for the other little mothership kits that are white plastic. But you get beautiful shades and you can just pop this in your bag and be on the go beautiful you got mauvey you got gold you got a black you have everything you basically need to achieve and you have the great pat mcgrath standout formula and this is not a bad palette at all i would absolutely repurchase this again i have used this quite often it does look a little dusty like so you can see i have used it but i could just pull it out and do a quick and easy look and like i said these two shades like we didn't have too much of like that at the time when this came out um but i do love this palette this is Mothership One. I would repurchase this palette. I finally picked it up in 2019. This palette actually came out with the first round of Mothership palettes, Mothership One, Two, and Three, back in 2017. And this is the one that has the bright blue. Now, I never picked this particular palette up because it was only really one standout shade to me. But when I just kept looking at the palette and just experimenting with the other palettes that she had and the types of formulas and the shades, I was just like, okay, now I need to have it. And she was running a sale because she's been running lots of sales and I was able to get this bad boy on sale. So I absolutely love this palette. These shades are amazing. And then it offers something totally different to my collection. I don't have a lot of cool tone palettes. So if I'm going to have a cool tone palette, it might as well be a great formula. And this blue right here is bomb.freakingcom. These shades are beautiful as well so I love this palette I definitely will repurchase it again next up we have mothership six okay so mothership six is actually midnight sun which is a beautiful palette and I definitely would repurchase this palette again and there are some beautiful everyday slash kind of amping your look up shades in this palette this is what it looks like. It is a very wearable palette and one of the most wearable palettes that she had had of the Big Mothership 6 palettes. So I would definitely repurchase this palette again and I really am digging this, this grassy, mossy green shade. I love it so much. So I definitely would repurchase this. 
Next up, we have the Opulence Collection Quads. I would definitely repurchase all of these and they retail for $65 and I was able to get like one of them on sale. So we're going to start with with the one I thought I was not going to buy, which was Iconic Illumination. And I was like, I'm not going to buy this because it looks like I can just dupe this in anything in my collection, which I mean, I probably can, but that's just not the point because the formula is just beautiful on this. And this is what this quad it looks like and I would absolutely repurchase this. I mean this Bordeaux and this gold. I, the whole thing is just beautiful okay. So I will repurchase it. The quad that I picked up first that I absolutely fell in love with it was one of my favorite things of 2019 is Nocturnal Nirvana and this one she just gave us something so different and I'm hoping that come on Mama Pat I'm tired of the gold. I love the golds and the roses and all of the reds but for 2020 I want to see some blues. It's green. Because you give us a lot of purple. But I want to see some blues. I want to see something different. And this was different. And it was gorgeous. And oh my God. Like the dual chrome flip on this green. Ah, it's amazing. Beautiful. I love this quad so much. So easy to work with. Once again, I would definitely repurchase this. This is Ritualistic Rose. I guess this one could say what definitely started off her rose obsession. And this quad I would definitely repurchase. It is so pretty. And actually when you pair this quad with the Iconic Illumination, it is beautiful together. So I absolutely would repurchase this quad. Next up we have Mothership 7. Oh, we did not see this coming at all. And oh my gosh. This one is beautiful and definitely one of her most wearable palettes to date um, or most just easier beginner friendly palettes. And I love this palette. It is so pretty. Mine looks used and abused because the first day I got it, I almost dropped it. And in order not to drop it, my fingers went at it. So that's why you got some dick mouse. But this shade right here, this gold bronzy duochrome shade is beautiful. I do love this palette and I would definitely purchase it. These two little babies came through and stole my heart. I would definitely repurchase these. These are the Star Wars Collection mini palettes. Both retailing for $65. We have Galactic Gold and we have Dark Galaxy. I just love these color schemes. Oh my gosh. And even though this one has the most repeat shades, I'm like, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I love it. I love it. I love it. And it is so bomb. So I would definitely repurchase this palette again. And Dark Galaxy, I will repurchase too because y'all know I love some red shadows and some berry tones. And I'm dropping my cards. But this is this one right here and I would definitely repurchase it again. Last but not least, we have Golden Opulence and it makes me so happy just to look at the packaging of this palette and I would repurchase it again and it's $65. And this one is just provides a, such a nice, beautiful color scheme. It is kind of redundant from what we have seen, especially in the latter half of Pat McGrath with the Mothership 7 and... Some of the quads but yet again it's still beautiful all six new shades but i would repurchase this again so with that being said i have all these palettes around me and i have gone through and i have said which palettes i would repurchase again which ones i would not repurchase again and which ones i'm just kind of on the fence now in my defense a couple of these palettes showed up in black friday in my defense you know like the Kaleidos palettes were a bundle. In my defense, Pat McGrath lost her dang on mine in 2019, quarter four. But I would definitely repurchase majority of the palettes that I picked up. I don't have any true regrets in my collection. And I spent my money the way I wanted to spend it. I definitely plan out my makeup purchases. I am not a girl to just be in Sephora, just walking around picking up stuff. I'm not the girl that's going to be in also just picking up stuff. Maybe in Target, but not in those two stores. I usually have my purchases planned out because I watch trim mode and I know which ones I want to pick up versus which I'm not going to pick up because I'd rather save my money for something I really want versus not really wanting. So that means that I don't have a whole lot of regrets 
in my pile right here a couple of one or two things i was like oh i should just get it because i'm doing the whole youtube thing now but i really don't want to try to do that this year because there's always going to be a new palette that comes out that i'm really really going to want and i'm glad that i like majority of stuff in my collection my true regrets are back at the store i got my money back that, that's that's it my true regrets are back at the store so it's only one or two palettes so i'm like it's not bad but i just just don't really use it i mean that's all i can say <laughs> except for one that yuma beauty i'm like i'm gonna try i'm gonna work with it again i, I just can't it's some it's that color scheme it's the art the imagery i'm like i just can't like it, it might survive my declutter that I'm planning. <laughs> so with that being said, I have tried out, I want to say 52. I think it's a couple more palettes than 52. I'm going to count them up because I made out my list, but then so many palettes came out in the last couple weeks with that Star Wars collection and the Fenty stuff and the Dejuvia's Place that I might have missed one or two palettes because I don't even think the Huda palette made my list when I made it out. So I think it was a couple more palettes than 52. So when you put it like that, it's like basically a palette a week. It's like, ooh, but it really wasn't like that in real life. However, I kind of wanted to see how I do this year. So I do know there's one palette that I want to pick up, which is the Sydney Grace um, for Ben Love or Eternal Love or something palette like that. But that new ColourPop Mint palette, I'm going to pass on it. It looks beautiful. But I just don't even feel like it's going to really jive on my complexion. I don't even feel like it's going to look ashy. I just don't think like I'm going to like it on my complexion. So uh, with that being said, let me know down below. Like, do you agree? Like, you feel some of the same way about these palettes that I have just let me know how many palettes did you purchase this year. I'm hey here. guys, this is Ashley. Sorry, the video is going to end really weird. Um, my memory card became full when I was filming this last little part of the video. And when I took it out, I realized that the card was on the verge of breaking. And I had an experience earlier this year where my memory card broke in my camera. I had to take my camera to the shop, get it repaired. It's been $250, so I opted not to put that card back in the camera so please subscribe to my channel i really hope you guys enjoyed this video it was a lot of fun to film and i will see you guys very very soon bye